Okay, I got it. Ready for this? If you guys haven't already checked out my Instagram, please go check out my Instagram. It'll be linked down in the description. It's the same as my YouTube channel. It's premium rare coins on Instagram. You'll often catch me posting videos of coins before I even post them on YouTube. A lot of times I actually sell coins on here. So if you're looking to buy coins from me, some premium rare coins, hit me up in DMs. Any of the quarters that you see in this video will eventually be for sale on my Instagram or eBay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, as always, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be filming on my iPhone rather than my computer. My computer camera actually died. It's not working anymore. So I'm going to have to buy another camera in order to film in the future. I hope this video is up to par with all my other videos. And if not, maybe even better. I want to cut right to the chase in today's video. As you can see in the title, we're going to be opening some beautiful 1954S original bank wrap rolls. These have some amazing original toning on them. They've never been opened before. And I figured this would make an awesome video. And I wanted to open them just because obviously they've been sealed since 1954. Uh, it's about to be 2024. So these rolls will have been sealed for 70 years. I'm going to be opening it before 2024 though. So uh, the rolls will actually only be sealed for 69 years. These toners on the end are actually going to be submitted to PCGS uh, for grading. Not so much because of the grade, but more so just because of the toning. But yeah, I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So let's just crack right into these rolls. I'm super nervous, but at the same time, I'm very excited. So I'm actually going to start with this roll um, because I believe the other roll is nicer. Uh, this roll does still have beautiful toning, obviously, on both sides. All of them are exceptional. But this is my favorite coin out of all of them. So I figured I would save the best for last, per se. Alrighty guys, no gloves. Guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have a question for you, and that is, to glove or not to glove? <laughs> Let's just get right into this. I'm super nervous. Woo, can't believe I'm doing this, guys. Oh, wow. Yep, that's 100% original. I'm gonna try and do this without dropping all the coins, but um, even the inside, they're toned. That's crazy. All right. Man, I'm super nervous. Try and get this on the camera here. Wow. Yeah, there's the reverse. I mean, absolutely blast white. Wow, that's super PQ. No spotting. I mean, just a, a brilliant coin. I mean, this has got to be one of the best original rules I've ever seen. Wow, and there's the obverse. I mean, that's just killer, dude. I don't know if you guys seen my old video that I opened up a original bank grab roll of Kennedy's in 1964, but this, I mean, this is just, this blows it out of the water. I mean, it, find a problem with that, you know what I'm saying? Wow, beautiful. I'm actually gonna flip this up now and not handle it anymore because as I said, these are all gonna go for uh, into grading, at least the toners 100%. But, um, yeah, that's, that's number one. <laughs> you know, what, let's just for fun, let's pull out the second coin in the roll. Wow. Okay. So that one does have some chatter on the face, but I mean, still like, I mean, it, it, it really doesn't get any better than that. That is just a blast white 54 S any estimate marks are usually better dates. I'm just going to put that right back where it was. Okay, so this is the reverse, or the, excuse me, obverse of the toner. Just blast white. I mean, none of the color seeped into it. I'm 
but this is the oh my gosh like it it's nothing it's, it's crazy there's just nothing and then you flip the coin and there it is like oh that is just breathtaking dude i'm not gonna be like you know i don't have a lot of fancy wording to describe this but i mean just look at the color i mean it 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 speaks for itself, you know, there's not much I can say, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful coin. I'm, I'm just so excited to open it. Obviously I'm nervous, but I'm so excited at the same time, you know, but there it is. That's uh, that's rule number one. <laughs> that's rule number one. Very, very beautiful coins i just realized as i put it in the plastic it makes the camera shine on it so it kind of doesn't look as good i'll pull out like i did the first time the second coin is roll yeah i mean it's just it's beautiful this one so like that other one that i showed you had no spotting i was like surprised you know at least at first glance i'll have to look at these coins all off camera i'm looking through the camera while i show you these like but this one does have spotting on it like i can see that um that's how that kennedy rule was it had spotting all over it like i said though i'm not gonna lift it up though because the rule's loose but it was really cool just seeing that all the coins on the inside are toned but this is this is the main attraction this this roll because of this coin i mean this coin is just insane i mean this one's really pretty too but that's the big mama coin I suppose I should have showed you, told you guys kind of how I acquired these. Um, but these came from a really old collection that sat inside of a storage unit for a very long time, untouched. And I just recently acquired these. And I'll hold these up again. But yeah, they they got like some gold color to them. This one's actually not as rainbow as the other one. I'm gonna wait to crack open that other side. This is the, yeah, this is the tails. But here's the white side. But, um, yeah, these, these sat untouched for a lot of years. And just recently I acquired these and I put a poll up on my Instagram and was like, should I keep it original or should I open it? Oh my gosh, man. Wow. I mean, that is, that is... That is a crazy coin, man. The color is just unreal. Like I said, I don't know what these are gonna grade. I'll I'll look at them off camera and grade them myself before I submit them like that. Like that has some scuff, that has a scuff on it, even though it came out of an original roll. But it's not even necessarily about the grade, it's just about getting it into a holder and PCGS not calling it questionable color, which um, everything on these coins does not scream questionable color. I mean, it's, it's original color. And if anything, this video is amazing proof that these coins are original. They're not tampered with. They're, they were still in their role from 1954, um, just now open. So, uh, again, I'm going to grab the second coin just to look at it. But I mean, this is just amazing I'm, I'm super excited again just blast white it's just crazy how you go from the one coin on the end uh and this does have some spotting on it again that is just brilliantly colorful and then the next coin is just white <laughs> it's just funny um unfortunately these rolls are not going to be preserved as you can tell they they ripped up pretty good. I gotta be really careful with this one. This one's the big one. But obviously I'm more so concerned about the coins than uh, the wrapper. Okay, we got it. That one was a bugger. Here's the reverse. I was really hoping, honestly, that obviously, that the reverse would get some color, but it didn't end up happening. Obviously, it's not exposed to the air, so it's much harder to, but I mean, look, ready for this? Wow. 
well. I know every YouTuber out there says that the video doesn't do these coins justice, but the video doesn't do these coins justice. I mean, they're beautiful. And the luster on this coin is just, I mean, phenomenal. Look at it dancing on the camera. Wow. Yeah, this, I mean, this is the coolest one, obviously, out of all of them, because it's just the whole thing is color. But, they, I mean, they're all beautiful. Let me get this one flipped up real quick. And, again, it's going to suck because, you know, the light is reflecting on them. So, this is the best you're going to see them. But, I do want to show you all the coins um, after, obviously, after I check the second one here. Like I did with all the other ones. But, you know, they're all going to be blast white. The odds of them being toned um is is pretty much impossible if the roll wasn't original it would probably be possible for them to be toned but since it stayed sealed air sealed um all these years the, the toning gets seeps through on the edges but these coins are all packed together there's no gap in between there for oxidation to happen for there to be that color but again this is roll number one and yeah it doesn't look as good inside of the the plastic, but that's roll number one. And uh, that's number two. Obviously number two is uh, the, the king of the two rolls, but I mean, they're all just absolutely beautiful. Like if PCGS calls one of them questionable color or one of them artificial toning they're going to call all of them artificial toning or questionable color because they all look the same they all have the deep red the deep greens the golds the purples they they all have the same colors because they were stored in the same condition in the same area the same collection for all these years um, since they bought them from the bank so I don't know. I'm I'm super excited. I'm super nervous. I'm very confident, though, that PCGS knows what they are doing. So I don't think these will end up inside of a details holder. But this is something I wanted to share with you guys. Um, obviously, once I get the grades back, I will be doing a PCGS grade reveal. I'm going to try not to reveal the grades. What I mean by that is look at the grades ahead of time. Because that's what I did last time, and it kind of ruined the surprise. But I have a whole stack of coins um, right here, all coins that I'll be submitting, and these coins will be in there. But once I get that submission back, I'll be sure to do a YouTube video. And by then, I'll definitely have a camera, so it'll be much better quality. But uh, yeah, guys, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.